Today, we're going to be creating the off-brand cast of Sex in the City and pitting them against each other to compete for the companionship of one douchey man. The first to be so emotionally invested in this competition as to die will be the winner. Um, I try to make their personalities as much like the characters on TV as I could. And I also made sure to give them all the jealousy personality trait because I feel like that will make this even more spicy. I also went ahead and I figured, wow, this is a lot of ladies in one house. What does it need? Too many cats. And so I added three cats with all pretty terrible personality traits. And now for the prize they are all competing for. This is Mr. Fresh Meat. And I made him pretty much as douchey as possible. And I was going for kind of like a douchey Hugh Hefner vibe. So we got the nice robe and the slippers because he don't do anything. He's actually a kleptomaniac and kind of a dick. So let's see who wins this fantastic prize. Fricka Fricka Fresh Meat. So, in the beginning, I had him go around and try and build, you know, a relationship with each of the ladies. But after about five minutes, I realized it would be pretty much impossible for him to get past just flirting with any of them because he was getting slapped left and right. And this is why I'm so happy that I added cats because they are just making everything that much more difficult for all of the sims and they're already very angry or very sad. Miranda has completely given up at this point it seems like and has taken to the cats because at least they love her. The house has turned into a rotating cycle of people just crying themselves to sleep in their bed. <laughs> After each of the girls had cried themselves to sleep a few times, I decided the best way to approach this was to take them on individual dates until they were close enough to Fresh to have a relationship, and then I had him ask every single one to be his girlfriend. And then, of course, to go home and woohoo! So at this point, he is now boyfriend-girlfriend with all four women in the house, and they've all woo-hooed. But it's been individually, and none of them has uh, seen the dates or the woo-hooing. Back at the house, it is complete disarray. There's been at least two fires. Surprised that no one died. So I figured the best way to kick this off was to have him publicly woo-hoo in the common area and they decided to choose the hot tub. Samantha literally wakes up to Charlotte and fresh meat woohooing in the hot tub that she is sleeping in. However, that does not deter her from woohooing with fresh again in the same hot tub. And then just look at this audacity. All of the women are depressed. The house is in a state of disarray. And the slap fest begins now. Although all of them take turns slapping him, I would say Samantha has done it by far the most. Miranda is losing her frickin' mind right now. They've started taking their frustrations out on each other, specifically Miranda and Samantha. Instead of fighting fresh, they've decided to fight each other, Miranda and Samantha. Miranda is the clear winner, surprisingly. However, she then promptly dies. 
Thank you for watching this week's edition of the off-brand Sex in the City Morbid Bachelor competition. The winner is Miranda. Thank you guys again. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next week. Bye.